today I am going to be showing you different coloring techniques. So you need to draw four circles on your paper. These can be big or they can be the size that mine are. The first coloring technique I want you to label your circle is exterior emphasis. Exterior emphasis. The way that we get an exterior emphasis is we are going to make the outline of our object darker than the inside of our object. So I am going to make my circle the outline darker than the inside. So I am pressing hard on my color pencil, but not hard enough to break it. Then I am going to lightly go in and fill in that interior of that circle. Notice how my entire circle is filled in. I do not want choppy lines like that. That is no good. Another way that we can do an exterior emphasis is by taking a marker and drawing that um, outline and then filling in that object with a corresponding colored pencil. I want to make sure that I am taking my time and I have clean lines. The next coloring technique we are going to look at is adding texture. So you need to label your paper or your next circle texture. For texture, I think it looks best. Um, I'm going to start out with an exterior emphasis. So I'm going to outline my subject. And then I am going to go in and press pretty hard on my paper with my uh, colored pencil. And I'm going to create a texture. I'm actually going to start over because I think it would be best to go all the way across like this. So I'm pressing, I'm putting pressure on my colored pencil to get a darker line. I am going to make this texture go all the way across my object which in this case is a circle. Then I am going to take the same colored pencil and lightly fill in that area. Notice how when I am coloring, I am going for, from one direction to the other with my colored pencil. I am not being all crazy and going all over. So I'm going from one direction to the other, lightly pressing down. And again, I want you to make sure that you fill in the entire circle. We do not want sloppy coloring. No, we do not want sloppy coloring. Yes, we want it neat. If you feel the need, you can go back over and go over that texture again to really make sure that it pops out. I think that would be super helpful especially with a colored pencil. The next coloring technique we are going to look at is color blending. So you need to label your next circle color blending. To color blend, you need to pick out two colors. I'm gonna use pink and red to color blend. 
I am going to outline the top half of my circle with my first color, which mine is pink. So I'm kind of using this exterior emphasis for this. So I'm pressing down pretty hard with my colored pencil. Then I'm going to go in with the bottom half and color an exterior that with the red. Now, um, from here, the hardest pressure is going to be at the top of this circle, and then you are going to gradually get lighter with your pencil mark as you move towards the middle. So I'm going to start off pretty hard, and I'm going to lighten that up as I get towards the end, because I need to be able to come in here with the red to blend that color together. So now I'm gonna switch pencils and come in with the red and start pretty white up here and kind of blend that to a darker red. This is probably one of the more tricky coloring techniques. It might take a couple tries to get it completely right. But soon, those colors will start to blend together. I want you to make sure that you are coming all the way across your circle. We do not, oops, we do not want your lines to not extend all the way inside your shape. We don't want that. We want to make sure that it is all the way filled around the edge of your shape. The last coloring technique we are going to do is shading. You need to label your last circle shading. For the shading circle, I'm going to draw an outline of the circle. And my outline was way off from what I thought it was going to be originally. So I'm gonna go in with my eraser and kind of erase that extra regular pencil line because I don't want that on my paper. I want to erase all of my pencil lines that are not colored pencil. For shading, we learned about value scales. So we are going to incorporate that into our shading box. So I am going to shade the top of my circle, the darkest value, and move all the way down to the lightest value. And I am going all the way across, putting more pressure on my pencil at the top. and slowly making my way down. I might have to go back up and even add more layers at that top part. So I'm just slowly releasing the pressure of my pencil so I'm not pressing down quite as hard to get a good shade that gradually goes from dark to light. I might show you guys in a different color as well. for shading. So I'm going to start dark. And gradually get lighter.
with a colored pencil, it might help to go over those dark values a couple different times until you get it just how you would like it. So those are our four shading techniques. You will have to include at least one in your portfolio or sketchbook cover. Remember, we do not want messy lines. We do want the entire thing to be filled.